like playing video games for extended periods of time. Usually three hours at a time is where I usually end up stopping. Though I didn't with Wandersong. With Wandersong, I, I really, really enjoyed playing that game, though I didn't stream any of it, but I played that game in four-hour chunks. It seemed that Wandersong really turned off a lot of people, so I didn't really make any further streams of it. Perhaps I should have, anyway. If I play a game for four hours, I like to know that I've at least made a little chunk into the game, like, I don't know, at least a sixth of the way through the game. I want to feel like my time wasn't completely wasted. A game is meant to entertain, and I'm not really entertained with having to spend hundreds of hours in a game just to essentially be told what to do by a computer and invest all my thoughts into it. Games generally play on our reward system. They get us to do medial tasks and feel good about when we do because the game rewards us with something in the game. In most games that control like a first-person shooter, it's all about traveling to a waypoint, destroying or changing or evading enemies or adversaries, picking up special objects or setting off area triggers, and going to another waypoint. Again, destroying or changing or evading enemies or adversaries. Over and over again. Now, I mean, even the, the side-scroller games are kind of that way too, but I tend to enjoy the most some of these sort of puzzly games. You know, you, you have to think a little differently to figure out what you're supposed to do in the game. You know, I think that's kind of cool. I think I, you know, there's a certain kind of thinking that I gain from that, right? But I don't gain that from games where it's just, oh, go to this waypoint and shoot or do something to some enemies and pick up this object and now, and now come back or go to this other waypoint. And yeah, it, I just don't get that much from those games. Yeah, there's kind of a reward system, but well, whoopee, right? But the style of a game can really suck me in. And if the controls are different enough, but still friendly, and the visuals and audio are moody or surreal enough, I can play the game for quite a while. But I certainly don't want to spend all my time thinking about how I can get past this certain part in this game. You know, ways of tackling something in the game. I don't want to dream about it. I don't want it constantly in the back of my mind, taking up space in my brain. I mean, as I've said before, we don't really multitask. We can do something mundane and repetitive while thinking about something else, but we can't think about multiple things deeply at the same time. We, we're just not wired that way. So I don't want all my thoughts thinking about how to do something in this programmed world where they want you to approach everything a particular way. This is the same thing as how I don't want intersectional dogma telling me that I need to think about everyone's group identities all of the time. I don't want to waste my brain power on things that impede my ability to function. When I used to spend a lot of time using memory hack utilities to make games do things that they weren't originally designed to do, or I modded games, I modified files and things like that, it was all about experimentation. It was all about being creative. It was all about learning the boundaries of the game engine, the actual boundaries. I was actually getting something out of it other than a programmed reward system. The more complex that game engines get, and the more they start putting cheat blockers in one-player games, the harder it is to enjoy a game by tinkering with it. You should play it the way it was designed. Well, okay, here's this programmed reward system. So, you know, if there's a game that takes like 80 hours to complete, I'm probably not going to be interested in it. I don't want to waste that many hours placating a time-waste programmed reward system. I don't want to dream about it. I don't want to spend that much time thinking about it. I mean, if I'm gonna, th if I'm thinking about, wow, that was, uh, that artwork was beautiful. Those graphics were beautiful. 
that that scenery was beautiful. And I'm thinking about all the things that it took to make that game what it is. Okay, that's a little different. But to actually think about the game mechanics, oh, how can I do this in this game? Yeah, I don't want to spend a bunch of time thinking about that. And it's a game. I want it to be kind of casual, you know? Now, if it's a multiplayer online game, there will be a good chance that I'll actually get some sort of interaction with other real people. Maybe not the best interaction, but it's something. It's, it's not this programmed reward system, you know? But that's my take on the whole thing. Take it or leave it, right?